Hello, welcome to Storytime. I'm so glad you're here. The story I'm going to share with you is about something, well, something that nobody really likes. I don't like it. I'm pretty sure you don't like it. You know what it is? It's waiting. I don't like to wait for stuff. And I'm pretty sure you don't either. But it's something we all have to do. We all have to learn to wait and we all have to learn to be patient and it can be worth it. This story is The Mouse and the Apple and the author and the illustrator is Stephen Butler. So let's open the book and find out what is going to happen to this mouse and the apple. One day, Mouse saw a lovely ripe apple in a tree. It was red and shiny, and it looked delicious. Mouse waited for the apple to fall. Oh, look at his face. He looks so excited. And there's that shiny, shiny apple. Along came Hen. Hello, Mouse. What are you doing? I'm waiting for the apple to fall, said Mouse. That's a good idea, said Hen, hopefully. I'll wait with you. So Mouse and Hen waited for the apple to fall. He still looks excited. He's waiting. Along came Goose. Hello, Mouse. Hello, Hen. What are you doing? We're waiting for the apple to fall, said Hen. Apples are my favorite, said Goose greedily. I'll wait with you. So Mouse, Hen, and Goose waited for the apple to fall. See them, they're all watching that apple. You think it's gonna fall real soon? Along came Goat. Hello, Mouse. Hello, Hen. Hello, Goose. What are you doing? We're waiting for the apple to fall, said Goose. I love apples, said Goat hungrily. I'll wait with you. So Mouse, Hen, Goose, and Goat waited for the apple to fall. Oh, look. Goats joined them. I think it's going to fall pretty soon. Along came Cow. Hello, Mouse. Hello, Hen. Hello, Goose. Hello, Goat. What are you doing? We're waiting for the apple to fall, said Goat. I was just thinking about apples, said Cow, licking her lips. I'll wait with you. So Mouse, Hen, Goose, Goat, and Cow all waited for the apple to fall. Oh, they're watching it still. They waited, <clears throat> and they waited, and they waited. Mouse waited patiently, but cow, goat, goose, and hen soon grew restless. They thought up ways to make the apple fall. So they got tired of waiting and they decided, what can we do to make it fall? Because we want it now. I'll fly up and knock it down, said Hen. And she ran toward the tree, flapping her wings. But she tripped and fell on her beak with a bump. Oh, no. Look, she tripped over that little rock. I'll honk it down, said Goose. He opened his beak wide. Honk, 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 but the apple didn't move. I'll butt it down, said Goat. He ran at the tree and butted it as hard as he could, but the apple didn't budge. Oh no, the goose yelled at it and the goat ran and he bonked his head against the tree and the apple still didn't fall. Do you think it's ready to fall? Do you think the apple's ripe? Hmm, maybe that's why it's not falling. I've got a good idea, said Cow. She jumped up and down on all four hooves. The tree trembled and the apple began to quiver. <gasps> Do you think Cow's done it? Do you think she's going to knock it down? Oh, they're all looking. Everybody jumped, cried Cow, jumping up and down. Goat jumped up and down. Goose jumped up and down. Hen jumped up and down. The tree shook and the apple wobbled, but the apple didn't fall. Meanwhile, Mouse waited patiently. 
So they're all jumping up and down and Mouse is just waiting. He says, mm, I'll wait. Let's go, Cow said grumpily. That apple's probably rotten anyway. Or sour, said Goat. Or hard, said Goose. Or soft, said Hen. Hm. They all decided the apple's not worth it and they're going to leave. But who's staying? You're right, Mouse is staying. Now only Mouse was left. All of a sudden, the shiny red apple fell to the ground with a plop. It wasn't rotten or sour or hard or soft. It was the crunchiest, sweetest, most delicious apple Mouse had ever eaten. And that is the end. I like that story. It was kind of funny. And Mouse waited and waited and it was really hard and all his friends gave up and went away. But Mouse was patient and he waited. And guess what? He got to eat the delicious apple all by himself. Thank you for letting me read to you and I will see you next time. Bye.